to understand the basics of helicopter flight, it's important you're familiar with the four forces acting on a helicopter. Lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Lift is what makes the helicopter go up. By increasing the strength of the lift vector, we can induce a climb. This can be done by lifting the collective, which in turn will increase the angle of attack of the main rotor blades. Lowering the collective will decrease the strength of the lift vector and the helicopter will start to sink. Weight is a force that directly opposes lift. The more the helicopter is loaded with fuel, passengers or cargo, the stronger the weight vector is going to be. All we need to do as pilots is to increase the strength of the lift vector by raising the collective. If there's more weight than lift, the helicopter will start to sink. To increase our altitude, we need to be producing more lift than the helicopter weighs. To fly at a constant altitude, the lift and weight vectors must be equal. If there's any imbalance whatsoever, the altitude will change. Thrust is a forward force produced by the main rotor blades. In forward flight, the helicopter's main rotor is actually tilted slightly forward to create forward thrust. If the main rotor were perfectly horizontal, the helicopter would have no forward thrust and wouldn't be able to move forward. Drag directly opposes thrust. Drag is a force created by the air interacting with the fuselage, rotor blades, skids and so on. Part of the reason why we can't go infinitely fast in the air is due to drag. The faster we go, the stronger the drag will be. This means the faster we go on a helicopter, the more we need to tilt the main rotor forward to create more thrust. We need to balance thrust and drag just as we do with lift and weight. 